I'm Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Blog. I'm Adam from McKnight Carlson Wines. And today we're drinking Bare Bottom Madness, a pale ale from Door County Brewing Company. Um, and Door County Brewing Company is in Bailey's Harbor, Door County. Um, they launched in 2013, and it's a father and two sons, I guess, have this yeah. thing going. Um, and the beer we're having today is a pale ale from them, a 5.2% Oat, oatmeal pale ale. Oatmeal pale ale, yeah. <laughs> With uh, Cascade and Chinook. Okay, Hops so. What's going on? Oddly enough, two hops that you don't see as much as you used to anymore. No, but that's a. I like that combination of hops. Yeah. I mean, from home brewing, I always like that. Yeah. Um, one thing I should mention, mention that um, their beers. So they have a they have a little brewery up there in Bailey's Harbor, uh, but their bottled beer is actually brewed at Black River Falls at Sand Creek Brewery. Oh, uh, okay. And that brewery, their packaging line includes uh, equipment from the old People's Brewery in Oshkosh. Really? So. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> kind of fitting. So, yeah. got a nice golden beer with a yeah. fluffy white got a head. Nice pillowy head, yeah. yeah. And you can see, okay, so you mentioned the oats in there, yeah. and I think they said uh, like a robust edition of oats or something like that. Um, and you can see that here because that that haze, yeah, definitely, definitely from those oats. Tribute, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah, a nice piney, yeah. Pininess in the nose. That uh, and I get pine usually more from Chinook um, than Cascade. Than I do from the Cascades. What do you get from Cascade generally? More like the grapefruit. Okay. You know the fruity. See, I always thought personally the reverse. I always got more of kind of like the uh, the sprucey piney notes from Cascade, okay. and you know, there's almost like a, um, a smoky kind of thing to it. I don't know if that's right. It's kind of herbal, maybe. You know, but it's I don't know. I yeah. associate it with more like a smoky kind of thing. No, I get that definitely. Nice aroma. And I think I get more of that grapefruit. Yeah. In, in absolutely. The, uh, drink. Yeah. I, I get kind of a real beery flavor. I mean, it, if there is such a thing. I mean, this this kind of comes across as like a real like Sierra Nevada pale ale kind of pale ale. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Definitely. Just real classic. The one thing that I'm noticing different here though is that. Um, that I think it's those oats again. I mean, it's it's not a malty beer, Subs- maybe, but gives it something substantial. Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe there's some caramel malt in there. I would guess there probably is, just judging by the color of it. Mm-hmm. But you don't really get a lot of that caramel flavor. But you get a nice rounded kind of malt feel. Yeah, and I'm thinking that's from the um, dextrins left over from the from the oats. In there. Sure, sure. You know, and this this beer, it's just very drinkable. I I keep you know wanting to have another sip, have another I do sip. too. And I like there's like a, it's not. It's not a huge bitterness, but it's it stands there. It's, it's no, hard. definitely, and it's it's kind of building. It's residual bitterness, yeah. I'd say, and yeah. it does it keeps bringing you back back to the glass. I yeah. want to I want to keep drinking. Yeah, this absolutely. Stuff. This is also kind of reminiscent of uh, Lakefront's uh, Cream City Pale Ale as well. I think. Yeah, I haven't had that in a while, so take your word for that. Sure. So I have a question to ask you about this. This yeah. beer. Um, was first released uh, at the end of spring, early summer this year. Yeah. We didn't get it here. Well, you got it here at yeah. Gardena's, and you didn't get it here until last week. Yep. Why? Well. Uh, Not you personally, but <laughs> it's nowhere else in Oshkosh. You know, I, mean, I, I think, I think uh, Door County Brewing Company as a whole has kind of an underrepresentation in this market anyway. I don't know about the greater Fox Valley, but, um, you know, may have something to do with their, their distributor. Um, River City distributors out of okay. Uh, they're around Milwaukee. Yeah, I would say so too because if you look around, I mean, you see Little Sister here and there. Yeah, uh, you see Polka King. Yeah, but even those aren't really well represented in Oshkosh. Really. It's kind of a shame because I all the beers I've had from them so far have been really solid beers. Yeah, well, I'll have to uh, talk to my sales rep and tell them to. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get, need to put you on get, the spot. Get there. to work. Yeah. Well, and so you have uh, you have this. In six packs now. Yeah. And I haven't seen it anywhere else in town, so this is pretty much No, yeah. no, and I, and I think really I haven't seen many of the flavors. I mean, I, I know I saw the, the initial, I think their first beer they released was the, the Polka King Porter. That's the first one I It was a smoked, smoked Porter. No, no. Um, it's just a regular straight up Porter. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, but, but after that, um, I haven't seen. They did a the smoked beer. Bach. Really? Yeah, after that. Okay. So that's, that's what I was thinking. thinking. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I've, I've 
been to beer festivals. I, I've tasted pretty much their whole lineup, I think, and everything has been really rock solid. So. Yeah, I've had, a, I don't know, like two saisons from them that were excellent. Sure. Really good beers. Mm-hmm. But I've been happy with all their beers, and I'm, I'm, I don't know, this is hitting the spot right now. Yeah, I agree. Well, I, I heard they, although this is a pale ale, I've heard they, they like to kind of specialize in, in more uh, Belgian-style ales if possible. I know they've they've done a couple English-style ales to begin with, but I know they're going up to Cezanne's. And oh, that'd, that'd be good. I mean, I've, heard, I've heard rumors of actually a, uh, a sour uh, wild fermentation program that they're kind of having the works. Which yeah, would be, they, and they have stuff up their tap room at Bailey's Harbor that hasn't made it in, into packaging. Which I've heard is a showpiece of a tap room. I have to get up there. I haven't been up there either, but... Yeah. This is excellent. Yeah. So, one of the reasons we wanted to have this today is because you're having um, a cask next week. Yep. On Wednesday night? Uh, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Yep. That's the 21st? Yes. Yep. Okay. July 21st, Tuesday yep. night, 6, 6 o'clock. PM, and you're tapping a cask yeah. of... Yeah. Uh, go the Silurian Stout, which is their Imperial Stout, and uh, with cask additions of uh, cocoa nibs, toasted uh, vanilla beans, and coconut. So it should be uh, excellent. It'll be a, a pin, which is about a... I think it's about a three-and-a-half gallon yeah. cask. Uh, which we'll tap on site, uh, and in addition to that, we'll be having a, uh, a mini tap takeover from Door County Brewing. Uh, we'll feature uh, Big Sister Wit Beer, which is a brand new release for them as of I think June. Uh, Little Little Sister Wit Beer, uh, which has been a year-round beer for them since the beginning, I believe, and then uh, Beer de Sigla, which is a, uh, a farmhouse farmhouse style. ale. And that's a great beer. That's, yeah, that's yeah one of them. Uh, yeah, farmhouse sales I have. So, and we'll have uh, the brewer. Uh, is it Danny McMahon? Is Danny that, McMahon's yeah. the brewer. Yeah. Yeah, he'll the he'll brewer. be here, and um, other staff at Door County Brewing Company. So, be a great great event on Tuesday. Look forward to having you guys. That sounds great. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, Adam. All right. Prost. Cheers.